Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of the EVGA Supernova 1000 G1 power supply. It is an 80 plus gold rated power supply from EVGA. Uh, giving you an overview, showing you the accessories that it comes with, as well as showing you the benchmarks. So here we have the EVGA Supernova 1000G1 power supply. Uh, as you can see, it ships and comes out of the box in a nice protective casing to keep the finish from being scratched. So if we open this up and pull the power supply out, we expose this beautiful looking power supply that has a nice finish on it. Um, and you have a 135 millimeter dual ball bearing fan here that's variable speed to keep the power supply cool and also keeping it silent. In fact, in testing, this power supply was so silent that you could barely hear it. You also have a little logo here that's covered up with a piece of plastic just to protect it in shipping. You have all Japanese capacitors in this, including the main capacitor. And you have your AC DC output here on the side. It is 80 plus gold rated with a total of 83.3 amps on the single 12 volt rail for a total of up to 996 watts. And you have 25 amps each on the 5 volt and 3 volt rail, which make up the potential of 150 watts. It is a fully modular power supply as well. So even the 24 pin uh, cable is modular definitely makes it very easy, especially in larger cases or very small cases, to uh, route all your cables and have your cable management nice and neat. On the back side here, you can sort of see into the power supply a little bit at the components, and you have your power plug and a switch here as well. So, so in testing, this power supply was absolutely top notch. There was very little voltage drop, even under heavy loads. And as I said before, it is 80 plus gold certified. It is efficient because of that up to 90%. And you have a complete suite of power protections, such as over current, over voltage, under voltage. And you have a mean time between failure of greater than 100,000 hours. This is SLI and Crossfire ready and also has the five-year warranty on it with um, we know EVGA standing behind their warranty. So let's take a look at the benchmarks and then I will show you the cables and the accessories that this comes with. So as you can see from the benchmarks, what I said about the voltage regulation is absolutely true. One thing to note is that on the 12 volt graph, it does not show up properly. Though the, the dips are correct, it still shows, uh, doesn't read the voltage sensor correctly and shows it 7 volts, even though it's really 12 volts. So for our accessories, you've got a couple things in this pack. You've got a power supply tester, so you don't need to use the little paper clip trick to power up the power supply. You have four rubber feet, and you have four power supply screws for attaching it to your case. You also have a manual here, which has all the information and safety information about the power supply in it. As for cables, you have your main 24 pin cable here which is separated out into a 20 pin and four pin. You get two cables here for your CPU, which are both four plus four pin. So you have up to two eight pin CPU connectors that you can use for particularly high end systems or dual processor systems. So even in a server or something, you can use something like this. 
you get four six plus two pin VGA cables. So there's only one VGA connector on each one um, that gives you a six or an eight pin connector. You get two sets of SATA cables here, each with four and uh, four uh, SATA connections on them. And you have two sets of Molex with a total of three connectors on each cable. Then you have another two sets of VGA cables, which each have an eight pin and a six plus two pin connector on them. So you have plenty of PCI power. You have plenty of peripheral connections. And just in case you need it for a fan controller or accessory, you have a Molex converter that will convert to two floppy disk connectors. And of course, we can't forget the heavy duty power cord that EVGA supplies with this power supply. I hope you all enjoyed this overview and benchmarks for the EVGA Supernova 1000 G1 power supply. From my, in my opinion, it is definitely one of the best power supplies on the market. And if you're an enthusiast looking for something in this price range that's efficient, that's built for quality, that has very nice accessories, then this is definitely a power supply to consider. Uh, the other thing, of course, is that we all know that EVGA's customer service is generally excellent. So if you ever have a problem within that five-year warranty period, they'll back up what their warranty stands for. So for the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.